Hey everybody, Mobile Ranger back here again with another team overview. If you're not in the loop, about a year ago, I had created like a sort of team review gu guide video about the aristocrats. I intended it to be a series. I had recorded a couple other episodes. I know I did Warriors as well, and I think I did one or two others. But. You know, I never uploaded them for one reason or another. But today, I'm hitting you with another one. And so it's, it's a recent, well not a recent addition. But it's a recent change, recent set of reworks. That is the fiends here. Now, important thing to note about the fiends, this is actually the first tag we're working with. That has you know, spare members, like, obviously there's the core four, which you can tell by the disparity of my roster what those core four are, but, you know, I don't know, I figure I look at the rest of them. So, Phantom, Lapew, uh, he sucks, he's bad, he's basically not a member of the team, and he doesn't, like, his stats aren't modern in any way. He just, he doesn't really do anything with the rest of them. Uh, and as far as the other two, these were the two that were buffed before the buffs to the main four. Which was a little strange. But, ignoring that, I think they have some benefits. You know, passive speed and crit chance on Revenant. But... I think he's fine. But I wouldn't say he works well within the function of the team. Because, like... The, the thing is, the only person you could possibly replace him with is O-Mike. But... O-Mike's probably better. Even though I like him. Like, assuming I geared Revenant up. They'd be at a basically equivalent level. Actually, he's a desert town. I don't think he has as many desert boosts as forest boosts, so. Never mind. But, getting into it. With the core 4, yeah, I'm gonna start the, I'm gonna start the legendary Monster Tweety. So, Monster Tweety. First important thing to note about Monster Tweety is uh, his ability to just turn off taunt. Like, what, for all four of the Fiend team members you have alive, the enemies get an attack down, a piercing down, and a 20 ball. He has to be in battle too. But, he has a 25% taunt resistance. So, if you have all four members alive, they simply cannot gain taunt at all. Just, just flat out. They can't do it. That's nice. I honestly might have the wrong mods on them because if you look here at like this, this is the wrong like skill. Or the other wrong skill that I could speak today. Right here. This, this is important skill. In addition, to, you know, they're a crit team. So all these skills can crit now. Like this used to not crit, or at least it didn't say it could crit, but it does now. So, like his taunt is a crit AOE. And this move is a guaranteed crit. Also cleanses, which is nice. Um, but basically, he'll give, he'll do a lot of crits, and in addition. Whether an enemy or a fiend ally, I guess it's not a team member, but Monster Tweety can't steal anyways, so it doesn't matter. And you know, that's another benefit. Yeah, primary benefit of running Omike over Opat is he actually has a way to steal. It's one way to steal, but at least he can do it. Because the ability to constantly just smack this off very helpful to the team's overall function. 
CL. So a nice thing is that the team starts with hit, so Monster Tweety is somewhat taunts by default. I still put horns on him because I don't really know what else to do with him otherwise. Iron Jackets, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't want to look at the archetype passives. So this is nice, because it used to just be the ally with the highest attack, but now it does all attack or allies. And it actually hired all of them because of Opass recent rework. This skill right here, whenever they all... Maybe that's the wrong skill. Am I st stupid? Yes, I am stupid. Okay, yeah. No, it's whenever they land a critical hit. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna have to get into the main point. At some point in the So let's go to Yokai Tass. It's got the usual things. Dead rivalry skill, that's awesome. Uh, now you see here, I've given him Boxing Sticks. And Boxing Sticks are a very good choice for him. Because of this move right here. So as you can see, it's a big move with, you know, built-in crit chance, and if it defeats the target, it has, you know, the built-in boxing sticks effect of, you know, Toon dies, he gains turn meter. So combined with boxing sticks, if Yokai Vortex kills, which it usually does because it's like a 150 base multiplier, Attack, uh, crit move. It'll usually kill. If it kills, you get a free turn. In addition to that, that's just the way to steal. It's it's nice. Oh, I liked it better. But it was kind of better before because you could just scramble whatever. So you know, if you're like facing dodge for whatever reason, uh, which. Not a super great matchup for them, especially now, but get into it. Point being, there are better things you can be using your fiends for. So, it was a little strange, like, it worked, it was a little odd. But anyways, so nice thing, he also got Onai Savagery, which give your team, as long as he's alive, or, uh, yeah, never mind, which will give your whole team, and this includes all fiends, because they're all monsters, just the team's passive 70% critical damage. So yeah, yeah I mean, crit defense scaling kind of outclasses this, but, you know, the team's pretty decent about pumping out crit defense down, so... Prepare for that. And your strength, which is nice for your crit attacker. Yeah, and whenever a team member land, yeah. So, in addition to this, whenever a team member crits, he gains attack up and 15% turn meter. So, in addition, when a move like this crits, you actually get 115% turn meter. If it crits and kills, which, if it's killing, it's usually critting. So, and even, like, just basic turn meters with the extra crit chance, the crit chance up for hidden, and the crit chance the rest of the team gives. You know, he could cycle turns pretty efficiently. I'm right, talking to Monster Tweety. Jumping back to Opat. There's a nice steal on the basic. Just regular stat up. Stats up are everywhere in this game. So that shouldn't be hard to get at all. And then this move... It's alright. It has additional steal to... Claws, so you can trigger Monster Tweety more, and it gives crit damage up, and he gains hidden. It's not a period at the end of this move for some reason. Uh, I think he used to scramble, taunt, or hidden, or something, which was kind of nice, but you're probably not going to get stuck behind taunt too much on this team. Now, pretty core mechanic to the team is the Pot of Gold. So, while Opat and Omike, because they both use it, are alive, they, each turn they'll cycle a pot of gold onto a random enemy. And 
and they both have FFX relating to it. Opat heals them, or heals the team, and grants them crit, crit, crit chance. Can't speak. Uh, and keep in mind, with the Mortal Mischief, when team member crits, hidden team members get turn meter. So you know it's like Opat, and then one other turn meters. Or whenever team members gain hidden, they get turn meter. Oh, and here's part of the critical defense stat. Whenever a turn, any team member gains hidden, it only triggers once at a time, so the starting monster Tweety will inflict 6 crit defense down. But I think this used to be 4. Or maybe it does trigger a lot once. I don't remember. Point is, it starts, off, it starts them off with some crit defense down. And it cycles more turn meter onto the team. Which is nice. And then there's the hidden. There's the extra, you know, backup hidden. Which is nice, you know, can come in handy. And then you can tack up and speed up. It's nice. I mean, they're not super great skills, but in the context of the team, they work well. That's kind of all for Opat. Uh, and then there's Omic. So yep, and see so here's here's his pot of gold effect. So at Omic, hit and keep my like they, like they both trigger obviously. So both of them. So when you hit the pot of gold, you get all of your team healed. That team member gets twenty percent turn meter and critical chance. They're, they get turn meter, crit chance, crit damage, and the whole team gets healed. And that's the nice thing about Monster Tweety, is getting his AoEs to trigger often means you're constantly topping your team off in health. Uh, and as far as his other skills, yeah, whenever a team member loses hidden, so when they gain hidden, they get crit chance. When they lose hidden, they gain crit chance, and they get cleansed. That is nice. And then there's impish, impish Persistence. This is an okay skill. Kind of got nerfed in the rework because it used to be a blanket 100% tenacity for team mem fiend team members. Which, you know, they've, they've got a fair degree of debuffs. I mean, honestly, the crit defense down is the most important. So being able to land that basically every time was very nice because this is a little more situational. You know, speed down resistance is nice. The turn meter removal is nice, but you're not usually gonna use fiends against teams that have those kind of things. Like vintage, it's the newest thing that I think of right off the top of my head. Fiends against vintage, probably not, probably not the best use of your time. I only deal with dodge too well. But I guess no team that doesn't specialize in dodge deals with dodge that well, so I'll skip a moot point. But yeah, let's take them in. Why? What is this? Okay, Lord knows what was going on. Oh, because I'm on the PC climb and I haven't used it in eons. Let's throw Fiends in, just against a solid mastermind comp. You know, 600k. That's a good, that's a good power team. Probably like they're all at least like two up forty six. I mean, he is, he is, he is. Okay, now we got a we got a little bit of a problem. We got an M four in the team. Now the troubling thing about M four, where's the pot of gold? Troubling thing about M four is this. So he sucks. I don't know why I'm bringing him up. He's one tune. If he's not in the battle, he's just not in the battle. So okay, look at this. And there you go. It's over with. So it's the boss. I wouldn't use the move because it would crit, but it'd deal like 10 damage. I see Monster Tweety's win. He's got like very little health. Uh, the oh, because I killed the tune that had the pot of gold. Okay, and there it is again. See, right at the arrow. It didn't activate. Like, watch this. I could steal from M4, and then he goes off, and bam. That's like 6,000 health. Team, it's very strong. Yeah, see, that did like 6,000 damage. <laughs> Triggered again. Cycle the hidden back onto him. 
And now he's, yeah, now he should be clean. His damage, and there you go, he did 25k. So I can bounce back to here, because Monster Tweety is still low. Let's steal from him four again. I mean, doesn't, like, they both have regular stat ups. I can steal from any of them. But I like bullying Starfire Mark. You know, many eons ago, he was very annoying. Like even after the rework, he was still like manageable annoying. I think I'm actually gonna take this crate though. Just throw them on. So in that storm, yeah. Okay. So as you can see. Faster Minds are a very good matchup. Is this a real? No, it's not a real player. Jesus Christ. Do these, these saves? Oh, here, here's another example. Here's the here's worst matchup for them. At least I believe I'm wrong. The damage immunity when it comes to fiends. It's very annoying. I should be able to show you. It's okay. Medic Sam's got it currently, which is nice. Like here it is. Okay, private float, bada boom. Steal. Get the juice going. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely targeting. There he is. See, he got stunned. But it doesn't matter, because he had a plus 100% turn meter. So it's like, who cares? I can't really take care of him. But, yeah, I mean. You know, this man's kind of clearing our defense down, which is a little annoying. But now he's got the thing on him. Okay, and and Yokai's being stunned again. So that's a little annoying. And you see that the hidden went off on a uh, oh my. God. So I'm just gonna target Duckman. And he got stunned again. This is awesome. <laughs> so you know, a little bit of a awkward of a matchup. But. Again, it's like the eighth time botch triggered, so I just keep hitting him. If he never takes damage, we'll keep the pot. Triggers. Get the taunt back. And, okay, so yeah, see, when this happens, uh, the battle's kind of over. Kind of a lose thing. Because, I mean, at least the way my gadgets work. They're not going to do enough. The two of them are not going to do enough damage. And the, on the enemy team, they'll cycle turns on you. And you know, it's kind of like, throw it on auto. Who cares? Yeah, they'll, they'll cycle turns on you and kind of won't really be able to gain enough health back. Especially if. Actually, it's max health base health. So the damage actually doesn't affect it. I think only recovery down could affect it. But victory does not have that. See, this is like, they still have full health, but like, they're not really doing anything. Especially, yeah, I can see Private Flood is health now, because half of the team isn't here. I can't keep consistently having the bravery as end on them. Like, kill the team now? Why does he have 20 stacks of defense down? I know this is supposed to be a tutorial video, but I'm actually a little confused. I guess he's just been stealing them all. Which, like, fair enough, I guess. I mean, it does mean he'll also, like, pretty much never die. Oh. Well, maybe not. So the victory team of any form of permanent defense down? Okay, then there's the stun. This is the Daffy. See, and he has to he can't target the one with the the thing now, because there's no taunt, and Monster Twitty's dead. Okay, yeah, the battle's over. Yeah, you can see it down there. Uh, I'm never gonna get a turn again for my entire life, and they're they're all just gonna kill me. Okay, yeah, and died. So that's an example of a bad matchup. <laughs> the important thing to note about the Fiends is that they're an offensive 
oriented team. So, you know, more defensively inclined teams. I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to get smoked. But, you know, that's okay. We don't need to win all the battles. It, you know, it's Brawl. It doesn't matter. It's Brawl. Like, see, I, he just disappeared. And I can throw this, and yeah, he takes no damage. And the entire. Right, and he's on the team. So I just don't have crit chance. In fact, I have anti-crit chance. So, that's a... You know, aside from the obvious power discrepancy, that's a bad matchup. Show artists, but... Some pretty core teams that can get rid of. They fight masterminds very well, as I showed. I try to find some warriors. Because they're very good against warriors as well. Because as you know, they got a lot of taunt shenanigans. And their two attackers have pretty low health amounts. So, if you can manage to one-tap them with either member, or either of your tagging boys, or if you can like almost one-shot them and snipe them with monster Tweety AoEs, then you know, the battle's kind of over. Because like, without like an Angelus, they're never going to win. Uh, they do okay against Aristocrats. Yeah, hold on, let's see if I can find Aristocrats. I actually don't really remember how this matchup goes. I'm very tempted to try. I'm just gonna have to find our aristocrats and brawl. Which I would say it's a needle in a haystack, but you could probably do it. Okay, so here's an interesting thing. I'm gonna take him against Merriman. Now, you may say, Bobo Rager, are you, are you stupid? Are you dumb? You're gonna take them against. Merryman? Do you know who's on the Merryman team? And I say yes, yes I do. And watch this. Okay, and wait, yes they do. Boom. Okay, I should have used the basic, but there's plenty of context where that didn't matter at all. Cause watch this. Boom. Okay, so half my team is dead, but. If you play the game well, <laughs> the important thing to know in that matchup, and especially if you have like slightly better fiends than me, or you're facing off against worse, uh, you're fighting worse Merryman. Merryman's actually a winning matchup for them. I know that battle did not look like a winning matchup, but that is a winning matchup. Because for starters, the fiends actually have a pretty decent health pool. In addition to the fact that they're they're uh, they're stealing, will trigger monster Tweety all of the time because it's literally baked into their leadership. Uh, or made Melissa's. Nope. Oh. There you go. As you can see here, steal a random non-taunt buff. So. Literally every time they steal, Monster Tweety is going bam, bam, bam. Uh, you know, it's bringing the potions down. So, the important thing to note is uh, ignore how bad my married men are. <laughs> the important thing about that matchup is, in addition to being able to, like, completely ignore uh, Pikmin, Fire Porky. You know, the, the starting, the starting hidden strike from Daffy uh, is actually not that impactful. He usually survive, and he'll definitely steal because he just attacked, and he has passive attack, and Melissa gives him a little more passive steal. But yeah, they both have passive steal. So they'll instantly go, the monster Tweety will AoE. Now, they won't start with the pot of gold, but Opat or Omike, or either one of them, I think Omike usually goes right here, yeah. If you're paying more attention to me, to the battles I've been doing in my tutorial video, you'll notice that Omike goes first, which 
for some reason sometimes doesn't land the pot of gold. Pretty sure they do yeah, see? Oh my went first. There's the pot of gold. Uh I guess do this. Then kill. But Yeah, that's okay. We don't need to. See, watch this. Here's the more default battle. Bam. 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 Okay. See, he got knocked down, so he has half health. Well, you can see where I'm coming from, right? I'll do this. Yeah, see, unfortunately, Omega has damage immunity and the pot, so... Probably should have taken care of Omega first, honestly. But, you know. The play's the play. They're over. So guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. For my Fiends overview. You know, if you want more, I'll actually upload more this time. I swear. I mean, hold on. Can I find... No, I can take him against the Opera. Okay, let's do one more battle for fun. Because I think the uh, yeah, because the Opera team has two defenders. So, you know, that's, that's a lot of taunt. This is a good matchup. Watch this. And Omega sucks. <laughs> awesome. No, you know what? It's fine. I didn't want Omega to kill. So, you know, watch out for that one. That's a, a mild complication with this team. This will do that sometimes. Oh, never mind, he has that. I was gonna say, I thought the pot of gold disappeared for a second. That didn't kill. Okay. My team is bad, apparently. Okay, watch this. Boom. Do they are not. Today is not the day for, for crit damage on the Yokai Taz. Alright, there he is. Now he has it. As you can see. Whole team topped up on the crit damage or crit chance. They also have crit damage. Except for again, Yokai Taz. Except for Yokai Taz. I don't know. Buffs not seen stick on him. Well, anyways, uh, beat him up. So there you go. If you really struggle with the Opera team for some reason, do I have a suggestion for you? Nice. With that said, I'm the Mobile Rager. That's all, folks. I guess I could talk about Aristocrats again. Well, actually, no. I can't, because... If you saw the last hour-long video, which actually zero people did. But if you if you did watch it, you know, you've seen it in future, and you're the third viewer of the video. Because in retrospect, I should have edited it. <laughs> I spent a lot of time right there. But... If I did, and you watched the video, then do know that I don't even know what I'm saying. The point I get at is the aristocrats are getting nerfed, so I'll talk about them. Or give like, yeah, I'll give a review afterwards, my opinion on the nerf, because you know they're, they're one of. The, there are the couple of teams in here that I actually have built. Uh, cause I, admittedly, I'm not the most breadth of roster. Cause, I mean, like, 14 million is obviously good. But as you can see here from my year one OG tag, it's not been playing the game since global launch. Good. But that is an entirely separate issue of me being bad at the game. So anyways, Mobile Rager, that's all folks, I'm signing off before this video becomes 45 minutes long. <laughs>